Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Seeds of Faith. I am Reverend Siddiqui. Today we are going to be talking about mustard. Do you like mustard? I like mustard on my hot dog, not on many other things. But did you know that mustard is made from seeds? Have you ever seen a mustard seed? Let's have a look. Whoa, would you look at that? A mustard seed is pretty tiny. That looks like... Maybe you cut a rice grain in three? That's tiny. Did you know that that tiny mustard seed grows into that giant tree over there? Could you believe it? That is amazing. But that tells us something about potential, doesn't it? Small things that could grow into something way bigger than you could imagine. Today we want to plant two seeds. The first seed goes like this. It takes time for things to change. Hmm. Let's think about that some more and hear what Jesus says about it. Jesus says in Mark 4, verses 26 to 29, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself, First the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. What do you think Jesus means by this very complicated parable? At least it looks complicated. What do you think? So Zaheer, what do you think Jesus means in that parable? I think Jesus means there are stages in life, and those stages do not come all at once. So you have to be patient. So when you're popping popcorn, all the kernels do not pop at once. The popping is staggered. So you have to wait for all the popcorn kernels to pop to enjoy the popcorn. Hmm, that's an interesting way of looking at it. And you know, you just made your own parable. Zan, what do you think? I think it means there are steps that you have to take to become grown. It is a slow process, but once you, the time passes, you will know there, that you are there. Let's say you are in art class, and then you learn about it and start liking it. And if you practice, then you will develop that the skill for it. Oh, okay. So you see it as most things in life are is a learning process and it takes a bit of time but over time you begin to see the changes in yourself as you learn and grow what do you think yeah our second seed goes like this great things can come in small packages have you ever heard that one before And let's see what Jesus has to say about something like this. Jesus says in Mark 4, 30 to 32, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. What do you think Jesus was talking about when he gave this parable? Zion, 
Hearing Jesus' parable, can you think of some things you know that start out small and grow over time? People, plant, houses, skills, knowledge, friendships, basically relationships. Hmm, those are some pretty good examples of things that can start out small and grow over time. Thanks for that. Sayden, good to have you. What are some of the things you know that start out small and grow over time? Me, you, daddy, the world. What do you mean by the world? Because the there wasn't that many people in the world. Oh, that's true. The world, the population grew over time. It started out with less people and now we have way more people, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So Zaheer, what do you think about this second parable that Jesus is talking about with the mustard seed? Well, I think it's kind of like saying not to judge a book by its cover. Like when I'm playing basketball and someone shorter joins the game, I sometimes do not expect them to be good, but often they turn out to be really good even though they are short. Something else is thinking about bad habits, like lying. If you lie one time, you can keep you will keep doing it. The habit is going to grow and it can get out of control. Hmm. And it's cool that you raised the issue of bad habits because you can have bad seeds that grow in to something bigger than you really want it to. So yeah, seeds are seeds, they will grow. So you wanna make sure you are planting the right seeds so that they can grow into positive things. Wow, you guys are blooming with great ideas. The seeds for today can be summed up as three P's. The first P is potential. Great potential may come in tiny packages. The other P is patience. Seeds grow slowly to maturity. So we need patience to help us to wait for things we want to grow to reach its maturity. And the third P is perseverance. The slow growth may look like nothing is happening. We need perseverance to keep working and in time, we will see the benefits. Thanks everyone for participating. Thanks Zayan, Zahir and Zayden for sharing your ideas with us this week. Here are the seeds for the week. You have lots of potential. Just like a tiny mustard seed, you can grow to do great things. But it takes some time to see those changes. So be patient. And Jesus says, you will do wonderful things. Have a good week, guys. See you next week. Bye.